Around Destination Diaspora, we are talking about the island of Montserrat. It's one of my most favorite islands in the Caribbean. It's just south of the island of Antigua and it's known as the Emerald Isle of the Caribbean due to its lush green landscape and the fact that many of the early settlers to Montserrat were from Ireland. It's also the only place outside of Ireland that celebrates St. Patrick's Day as a national holiday. So I know you're wondering, well, what does St. Patrick's Day and Montserrat have to do with the African diaspora? Well, a lot. Um, Montserrat, St. Patrick's Day actually became a national holiday in 1985 but not to celebrate St. Patrick, who is the patron saint of Ireland. And the 10 day festival, which takes place, isn't just about the parties and fetch. Although speaking from experience, they are really, really good. Montserrat St. Patrick's festival actually commemorates the enslaved Africans known as freedom fighters who lost their lives after their planned St. Patrick's Day slave rebellion set for March 17th, 1768 was discovered. Although the rebellion was unsuccessful, it was the beginning of movements for the abolition of slavery on the island. So the St. Patrick's Festival on Montserrat is really about honoring the memory of those freedom fighters, Black people, people of African descent, and the impact and how instrumental they were in bringing an end to slavery on the island. I think that's why experiencing the St. Patrick's Festival on Montserrat is something that is so unique. It really lays bare the complexities of the Caribbean's history and that often uneasy balancing act of commemorating and celebrating at the same time. I knew that when I arrived in Montserrat for the first time in 2019, it would be special. And it was the experience for the St. Patrick's Festival was nothing short of that. I think it's really important that anytime we see um, festivals, carnivals, celebrations, events, that we take a minute to learn the history behind them, why they are so meaningful, and to not lose that sense of importance and not lose that sense of meaning behind it. And I think that um, with all the parties, the shows, the concerts that we get to experience with so many things that we do, it's easy to get caught up in that and sometimes not remember what the meaning is behind something. But I think this, this past year, this pandemic has made us really stop, take a minute, reflect, review, and also be really grateful and thankful for the, those freedom fighters and those people who've come before for us that we now commemorate and celebrate in different aspects of the things that we do. Um, I was one of the 3,000 people that uh, arrived in Montserrat last year for the festivities when they were cut short during the peak weekend due to concerns about the COVID-19 or what we now know as the COVID-19 pandemic. And um, it was really shocking to know that, you know, this wasn't something that was going to just blow over. But I, I think that what it helped put into perspective is the importance of keeping tradition, um, maintaining culture, and also um, ensuring that the reason why we started to celebrate or commemorate something in the first place is not lost as our celebrations grow, get bigger, um, and are, you know, uh, we see more and more people enjoying it every year. So in an effort to keep cultural events alive, that spirit alive, that camaraderie alive this year, the Montserrat Arts Council planned uh, a hybrid style celebration with mostly virtual events, including a junior Calypso competition, a fashion show, and a soca show, um, and only one public event this year with all COVID-19 protocols to be observed. So I just wanted to share with you um, why the St. Patrick's Festival, um, the special meaning that it has to it, the commemoration that it has to it, that you know, so many of the celebrations we see in the African diaspora are not just, you know, fet for fet sake or celebration for celebration's sake. Um, there's always a meaning behind it. There's always um, so something of importance to be celebrated from that. Um, and I think that if you can add, or when you can travel safely again, you definitely want to add Montserrat to your list of places to go. And I'm definitely going to follow up with another video about 10 things that you definitely should do on any visit to the Emerald Isle of the Caribbean. So this is Melissa Noel, Destination Diaspora. 
we are here to just inform, inspire, impact, and uh, show you stories and share with you information about the African diaspora and the impact we have around the globe. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and uh, happy St. Patrick's Day.